Hello class, for this online collaboration, I will be sharing with you how I pair readers with text within the social studies content area. Um, first, before I introduce any text to the class, I want to make sure that that text is on the appropriate grade level for the grade that I'm teaching. Uh, when I was choosing an anchor text for my text set, um, I wanted to see if Samuel Adams, Patriot and Statesman by Michael Bergen, uh, was on an 8th grade level, um, and I did that by checking on or using the Lexile leveling system to determine if it fell in the range of 820L to 1300L, and it does. It is actually considered an on-grade level text, and the Lexile Framework for Reading website um, not only provided me with the ability to search for the um, reading level of a book, but it'll also let you search for the level for students. Um, you can do this by choosing the Write Book For Me search box and clicking on the grade level that you teach, um, and it will show you the range um, that text that you should be looking for for that grade level. That's how I came up or found the uh, 820L to 1300L range for 8th grade students. It'll also let you choose um, to look for the reading level of a text. Um, you would do that using the title, author, or ISBN search box. Um, and this is a great way to match the reading level of your text with the reading level of your students. Um, if you have a below grade level student, then you can search for text that would fall in the grade level that they in the appropriate reading level that they need. Uh, once I've determined the reading level of a text and that it is appropriate, um, I create an informal reading inventory assessment um, for the content that I will be introducing. Uh, the informal inses assessment allows me to choose an approximate 100 word passage from the text and then I create three to five questions that assess the literacy skills and content knowledge of each student so that I can structure lesson plans and to be able to choose uh, appropriate supporting text um, that matches the needs of the reading levels of my students. So let's look at how um, I used an informal reading inventory assessment strategy for my anchor text, Samuel Adams, Patriot, and Statesman. I first um, chose an approximate 100 word passage from my anchor text. And this was about an approximate 100 word passage. And then I read over the passage and created four questions um, that I felt provided me with the information that I needed to assess their literacy skills and content knowledge um, of the topic. Uh, the questions that I created uh, were, can you recall what war this was called? Um, who was Samuel Adams? Can you explain what's happening in the passage? And then are there any words or phrases that you're unfamiliar with? I felt these words provided me um, with the information that I would need uh, moving forward. Um, and I would assess students during an uh, independent reading time. I'd simply call them over and have them read the passage. And then as they read, I would keep a tally on a informal inventory reading checklist. And it has where you can place all the students' names, um, the text that you, the passage that you used and where you found it in the book. And then as, in, as students struggled with a word or skipped a word, missed, read a word, replaced a word, you're gonna make a tally for every time that they did that. Then after reading, um, I would ask them the questions, and then I'll mark the number of correctly answered questions in the appropriate box. Once all the students have been assessed, I will then analyze and evaluate the data. 
Students with five or less miscues can answer all the questions and can comfortably read the text. They're on an independent level. Students with five to 10 miscues um, answer three of the four questions correctly. They're gonna need just a little guidance from the teacher while reading the text. Um, this is considered instructional level. Students with 10 or more miscues answered less two or less of the questions, um, they're gonna have some difficulty with the text and they're considered a frustration level. So I really need to be aware of those students so that I can find some supporting text that are below grade level, but still in the, on the content area that we are talking about um, and realize that I'm needing, I'm gonna structure my lesson plans to provide those students with some differentiation so that um, they're still getting the content and being able to construct their knowledge of the topic that we're talking about. Now, there are some interesting correlations that you need to keep in mind. Um, you may find that a student that has a great number of miscues yet answered all the questions, um, they're just struggling with the text and they just may need some strategies to help them during reading. Um, you may also need to know that you want to speak to a reading specialist to see what are the things that you can do and what strategies would be best um, to suit their needs. Uh, you may also find a student who has very few miscues when reading but couldn't answer any of the questions and they may just have some comprehension issues. So try using another uh, 100 word passage from the text, use a different one and allow them to read it silently. Um, and then see if they can answer questions correctly. Um, sometimes students just have a better ability at comprehending when they can read silently. So the wonderful thing about this informal um, reading inventory assessment is that you can adjust it to really provide you with the most accurate data so that you can structure your instructional time around meeting those needs of your students. So, uh, that is how I pair readers with text within my social studies content area. I do hope that you learned something and uh, would be able to use it in your future classroom.